thank you very much. Uh, so this is uh, a work in progress. So uh, some parts are better understood and some parts are less uh, well understood. Um, anyway, let me start with a, a flat PSL to R connections. So for this, <coughs> uh, you choose M, a closed uh, oriented, also Romanian <coughs> three manifold, and a bundle Q, I will know this QC, so the reason for C will be uh, clear immediately. This is PSL to C principle bundle, and in this bundle, uh, we also choose a <coughs> PU2 uh, sub bundle. And so, in particular, uh, the space of uh, PSL2C uh, connections on this QC bundle can be uh, written as uh, so if I have a connection in here I can write this as real part, this is a connection on Q and imaginary part EI where B is a one form uh, with values in part Q so uh, A is a connection on Q. And then uh, this connection is flat uh, is the same as saying that FA uh, plus uh, or rather minus uh, one half B wedge B plus DAB times I uh, vanishes which means that we have DAB is zero and FA is one half B wedge B. Right, and so uh, I will say that A is flat and stable if, in addition, uh, DA star uh, of B equals zero. So this is. Uh, minus star d a star of b. Now, uh, let me explain why uh, I call this table. Uh, so, uh, in the way we uh, presented connection on the PSL to C bundle, uh, a on q c uh, can be No, no, uh, here I really mean uh, PU2 SO3 bundle. That's an SO3, uh, so the maximal compact subgroup of that. Um, right, uh, and so uh, the, way we, uh, the way I wrote uh, the connection here, so we have an identification of the connections on the complex uh, bundle with the cotangent bundle to the space of connections on uh, the principal SO3 bundle. In particular, this is a symplectic manifold uh, equipped with the uh, action of the gauge group. And this action is uh, symplectic uh, and in, in, uh, in fact it is Hamiltonian. So the moment map uh, sends a pair AB into D A star B. So uh, plus or minus depending on your preferences. So in particular, uh, asking uh, uh, stability is the same as saying that there is uh, a solution which lies you know, in the zero uh, level set of the moment map. <coughs> and so uh, such uh, stable uh, flat PSL to C connections were studied by Taubes. Uh, so here I will do something similar, uh, but nevertheless uh, also something different. Now I will say that A, so A plus B I, is a 
flat, st stable BSL to R connection if A is, uh, let me see, if A solves uh, dA plus dA star B equals zero, F A equals one half B wedge B. That is, uh, if A is a flat stable PSL to C connection and uh, the holonomy of A lies in PSL to R. Right, so a particular class uh, of solutions. And this means that in QC, uh, we have QR. So this is a principal SL or PSL to R bundle. Uh, and the connection A reduces to this uh, sub bundle. But any PSL to R uh, bundle can be reduced as a topological bundle to some uh, U1 bundle. One bundle. And so this means that <coughs> this is a character of small a, yes. And so now, uh, in that case, uh, if uh, A reduces to QR, you have that the real part is a connection on P and B. Uh, so uh, then the joint bundle of Q splits as a, a trivial uh, real bundle plus some line bundle, which I will denote by L, and B uh, is a one form on M with values in this line bundle L. And then uh, a simple computation shows that the uh, equations over there are reduced to uh, dA plus dA star applied to B is zero, and FA equals sigma of B uh, wedge B, where uh, sigma is the fiber-wise uh, symplectic uh, form on L, so the real one. Okay, so that, that's uh, the equations that uh, we get for uh, flat PSL to R connections. Now let me uh, now describe uh, how is this related to uh, the zyber quitten monopoles. Now, the uh, cyber grid monopoles that I want to consider uh, has, uh, has something to do with the cyber grid monopoles that uh, Alexander uh, told us yesterday. Uh, but, uh, so, uh, they will be still somewhat different. So, uh, the equations that I would like to consider are dA of psi is zero and fA equals mu of psi. So, uh, psi here is a section of the bundle of endomorphisms from some background uh, Hermitian bundle E with a tri trivial determinant and uh, the spinner bundle uh, tensor to some line bundle L, which I will denote by the same letter. This is not just a coincidence. Um, and uh, mu of psi is psi psi dual minus one-half norm of psi squared. Uh, so uh, we consider the bundle of all endomorphins from some background bundle E into this rank two Hermitian bundle. Uh, sure, thanks. Okay, uh, 
Uh, now, a special case of that is when you take uh, E to be the spinner bundle itself equipped with the Levi Chivita connection. So in that case, uh, the homomorphisms from E, uh, so E is now the uh, spinner bundle into S tensor L can be viewed as endomorphisms uh, of S tensor L. And so uh, here I take, uh, here I have the trace, so I can, uh, so in here, I have uh, the space of trace three endomorphisms, and this can be identified with the cotangent bundle to M uh, complexified. Right, and uh, so uh, my spinner psi becomes a one form B, uh, so uh, now because, uh, since I have uh, tensor uh, with L, so here, course, uh, with values in L. And so uh, what we've seen so far uh, can be summarized in the following proposition. Uh, there is natural uh, page view correspondence uh, between flat, stable PSL to R connections uh, and solutions of uh, Diagnosis by two stars such that psi takes values in uh, N zero S tensor L. And in particular, uh, so uh, any solution uh, of two star determines a homomorphism from uh, the fundamental group of M into PSL to R. And also conversely, Yes, if psi lies in the, in the trace free part, but actually the trace here uh, doesn't really matter much uh, because it's, this will, uh, at the end, uh, gives us a reducible solution. So that's not really a big deal. Uh, and conversely, any, now I, I want to have a reducible uh, representation determines a solution. All right. Now, uh, the second corollary of that is the following. So if I consider uh, the space of uh, the first chain class, so the set of first chain classes uh, of the bundles uh, where the moduli space uh, associated to this uh, principle U1 bundle is non empty, uh, is a finite set. Uh, the statement, which is well known from the classical Zyberquitten theory, but uh, as far as I know, uh, doesn't have really analog uh, for the Zyberquitten equation with multiple spinners. 
And the proof is a simple <coughs> application of the Milner Wood inequality. So uh, in, in so what I do, I choose uh, a basis, uh, say sigma one, sigma uh, B one of H one M, say Z with Q. And uh, so uh, the, the, the spaces, so actually I want uh, the, the second homology group. Uh, so this can be represented by embedded surfaces, say sigma one, uh, sigma B two. And now uh, if I restrict, uh, you know, uh, if I, uh, Evaluate uh, sigma, say, i on uh, C1 of P, right? This is uh, nothing else but uh, C1 of P restricted to sigma i. And by Milner Wood, this is less or equal uh, two times genus uh, sigma i minus two. And in particular, this is a finite set. All right. So uh, this correspondence will allow me to construct some explicit examples uh, of the moduli spaces. Uh, so some examples. Uh, already known due to work of Alexander Don, uh, but uh, this will have a different flavor and will work for uh, any three manifold essentially. So we start with uh, breeze corn. homology spheres. So uh, these are uh, links of the uh, complex uh, singularities. So we consider that in C3, that, uh, well, so this is sigma B Q R. Uh, zero intersected with S5. And uh, a known result is uh, due to uh, recent uh, work of Kitano and Yamaguchi is that the uh, representation uh, variety of Phi one uh, sigma p q r. So by this I mean uh, the space of representations into uh, PSL to R modular conjugation, but conjugation is uh, in PSL to C rather than in PSL to R. So we divide by the normalizer of the uh, PSL to R in PSL to C. Uh, so this is finite. Uh, and moreover, uh, the, the number of points is known in, in this representation variety. Uh, and so also, moreover, any non-trivial representation is irreducible. So in particular, the uh, moduli space of uh, the Zyberg-Witten monopoles with this particular twist on the uh, 
uh, Briscoe homology spheres uh, is uh, compact. Now, uh, another example of compact space is obtained uh, by dense surgery. So uh, we take a knot uh, in S3. This is torus or a two bridge Not and S3 1 over Q of K is the result of the dense surgery. So uh, 1 over Q dense surgery, and then CRM due to uh, Bodhi and Curtis is that uh, the representation variety uh, of this guy is again finite. So uh, let's construct some uh, examples of non-compact spaces. And for that, I will take M to be the product uh, sigma times S1, but I don't assume anything on the metric. Uh, and so uh, we consider uh, homomorphisms. Both. <laughs> so, so we have <coughs> I1. Uh, sigma uh, times z into PSL to R. And if the image of the fundamental group of S1 is non-trivial, then we have a reducible uh, representation because this must commute to the image. Uh, and therefore, uh, so if, if you have uh, rho, then rho uh, is irreducible implies that uh, rho comes uh, essentially from the representation of the fundamental group of sigma into PSL to R. <coughs> and so if you fix some D in H2 sigma Z, which is Z, and uh, so, so the connected components of uh, the space of representations are uh, labeled by uh, this integer d, uh, which is, uh, again, not uh, an arbitrary number. Or for most of the uh, integers, the space will be empty. Uh, but anyway, so the theorem due to Hitchin uh, is that r d sigma is empty if D is uh, bigger than uh, two times uh, genus sigma minus two, uh, or a smooth uh, manifold of dimension uh, oh, let me know this by gamma. 6 gamma minus 6 uh, if d is uh, small or equal to gamma minus 2 and d is non-zero. But in particular, this uh, space is uh, non-compact. Right, and uh, one more example is how you uh, can construct non-compact uh, moduli spaces uh, are connected sums. So what you do uh, is uh, the following. So uh, here is a uh, proposition. Uh, assume both uh, R and 1 and R and 2 contain irreducible representations. 
uh, then the representation variety of the connected sum is non-compact. Now the reason is very simple. Uh, so here is the proof. Uh, so uh, whenever you uh, whenever you have one representation uh, on uh, M1 and you have another one which is so both are irreducible, you can always construct uh, a representation of the connected sum. But you can also twist both uh, of these representations by uh, any PSL to R. Uh, uh, matrix, uh, and so this will give you a family of uh, PSL to R uh, connections, uh, which is parameterized by PSL to R times PSL to R. But then, if you mod out PSL to R, you get uh, a space uh, uh, which is parameterized by PSL to R. So, in particular, a non compact uh, space. So, uh, actually, uh, right, maybe I will. Right, shortly what I said. So, uh, pi one of m one, m two is pi one m one, free product with pi one m two, and so if you have rho i from pi one m i into p s l to r, then uh, what you do? Uh, so this is reducible. Uh, then you take, uh, so if you take any A in PSL to R, you take row uh, 1, A, row 2, A inverse, so this is a family of inequivalent, equivalent, uh, Irreducible PSL to R <coughs> representations. So, in particular, uh, for any metric on uh, such a connected sum, we always have a Z2 harmonic spinner, which is in that case uh, a Z2 harmonic form. So, let me tell you something about the limits. Uh, so definition uh, uh, Z mod two harmonic fun form is the following uh, gadget. So is a quadruple uh, say M Z uh, I and omega. Where uh, so uh, that is a subset of M. Uh, I is a real line bundle over the complement of that. So this is real line bundle. 
Uh, by this I mean uh, also Euclidean. And then omega uh, is a uh, section uh, of uh, the cotangent bundle tensored with this real line bundle. And this is harmonic, so d plus g star of omega equals zero. Right, but this I mean the following. So uh, I is a real uh, Euclidean line bundle, so it has a canonical uh, flat connection on this, and uh, this doesn't appear here in the notation. Uh, and that is precisely the zero locus of omega. Uh, which means that uh, the uh, norm of omega extends to the whole of M, and vanishes precisely on that, where the, uh, this line bundle is not uh, well defined. So th there is also uh, one more technical condition saying that omega is uh, essentially in the uh, uh, W12, so in the first uh, Sobolev space, but this won't play uh, any role uh, in this talk. So. Uh, What's Z2? Uh, well, this is, uh, you know, this is essentially a Z2 bundle. That's, uh, that's why Z2. So that's uh, the terminology of Taubes. Uh, probably ask him why Z2. Uh, so the fact is, uh, if AN and BN is any sequence of flat, stable, PSL uh, connections such that norm of Pn in L2 goes to infinity, then An and if you renormalize Pn, so that in L2 it has norm 1, this converges, uh, converges to a C mod 2 harmonic one form. All right, so the limits in this particular case are described by uh, Z2 harmonic one forms, uh, which is a particular case of uh, Z2 uh, harmonic spinners. And so, uh, in the rest of the talk, I would like to say something about uh, these harmonic Z2 forms, which are, uh, in general, quite uh, hard to uh, get grasp of. Um, so, uh, what you've seen so far is that if uh, R, uh, M uh, is uh, non-compact, then for any metric G on M, so for any metric G on M, there is uh, a Z2. harmonic one form, but uh, if M is a, uh, say, rational homology sphere, you don't have any honest uh, harmonic one forms. So, uh, say it again. Uh, AN converges to the flat connection on I, yes. And so, so in particular, if uh, M is a rational homology sphere, then uh, we see that uh, that is non-empty. So in particular, it can't be uh, a harmonic one form. And so, uh, from now on, I will assume that M is, a, uh, is an integral homology sphere. Uh, and 
I will also assume that that is smooth. So, uh, so far the best regularity result for that is a uh, recent proof that that is rectifiable, but uh, it's not known that uh, generically that is smooth. Uh, we may hope that uh, this is the case at least uh, for generic metric. Uh, so in particular, uh, uh, that, is, uh, that is a link. And by that one, I will uh, denote the union of all components uh, uh, of that, such that, uh, yes? I mean, if, if, Z, if Z is empty, then we have an honest uh, harmonic one form. Yes? Yeah, yeah that's, uh, that's, you can construct this by, the, by this construction of, uh, you take, uh, you know, uh, Briscoe homology spheres and that gives you exactly that. Um, Okay, uh, so uh, I have some, some uh, rational uh, or uh, some integral homology sphere, uh, and uh, I have some uh, set Z, which doesn't need to be connected. Uh, and in particular, for some components, it may happen that if I have. This is finite and not empty. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> well, uh, this is finite, uh, and there are examples where this is empty, and there are examples where this is non empty. So uh, you can find examples where this is non-empty. I mean, the only example where this is empty, uh, which I know is a uh, Poincaré homology sphere. For, I believe for all others, this is non-empty. Uh, all right, so, uh, imp uh, so you have some embedded uh, uh, knots in your uh, homology sphere M. It may happen that if you take a small circle, and you look at your bundle i over the small circle, it may be uh, trivial or non-trivial. So let me consider on, only those components where uh, this is non-trivial. Let's so set i uh, as non-trivial uh, along in the region. Right, if i is trivial, then uh, in the in neighborhood of, uh, of uh, such a component, this extends over that and uh, is uh, harmonic form there. So it doesn't really, uh, it's not really essentially new. Uh, Which one? Yeah. Oh. And so uh, the theorem uh, is that uh, the Alexander polynomial of Z1 at the point minus one is zero, uh, in particular, uh, that one is never connected. So uh, it doesn't consist just uh, of one uh, connected component. And to see this, we will have to go to, uh, through uh, branch double uh, coverings, which uh, is somewhat similar in spirit to what Alexander uh, talked yesterday. Okay. Uh, but first, 
the observation uh, omega itself can be viewed as a flat stable PSL to R connection, but now on the complement of the singular set uh, Z. Uh, so here, A is a flat connection on uh, on I, so this is a sub-bundle of uh, its complexification, and this is now a complex line bundle, a Hermitian one, which is L, and here uh, B is omega, so this is, by definition, uh, a one form on the complement with values in L. Okay, so uh, the proposition is, um, or maybe uh, one more piece of notation, uh, so I will consider pi uh, from M2 to M. This is a branched double cover uh, branched along Z1. Uh, and the proposition is that uh, as for the longomy of the pullback, so let, let, let me know this uh, flat PSL to R connection as A omega, uh, just not to confuse with omega itself. Uh, longomy of pi star A omega uh, is a billion and non-trivial, and the second statement is that the holonomy of A omega itself is metabillion, uh, which means <coughs> that the commutator so uh, of this subgroup with itself uh, is abelian. So in other words, so uh, A omega is uh, not really a billion connection, but not that far away from being uh, a billion. Uh, and the proof uh, is not really hard. Uh, so uh, what I do, I choose a basis, say, uh, xi1, xi2, xi3 of, so this is a basis. Uh, PSL <coughs> R uh, such that uh, this generates uh, S1 as a parameter, as a one parameter uh, subgroup, and these generate uh, R as one parameter subgroups. And uh, so if I pull back uh, a Omega. Uh, so first of all, if I pull back uh, my line bundle I to the uh, double branch cover, this becomes trivial, and I can write uh, a so pi star of a omega as d plus pi star omega times uh, one of the generators, say xi. Two, and then uh, the holonomy of uh, this uh, connection is given essentially by periods of. Uh, so this is just. Uh, should I write this? Uh,
pi star omega. So pi star omega is obviously a closed form, uh, but the question is why uh, is this non-trivial? Uh, so why the cohomology class of this is uh, non-trivial? And this follows, uh, so uh, pi star omega is non-zero in H1 run uh, due to the work of uh, Wang. I mean the, po the point is that uh, pi star uh, omega is a harmonic one form, but this is harmonic with respect to the pullback metric. The pullback metric is degenerate along the uh, uh, discriminant locus, so uh, it's not quite obvious uh, that this is uh, that this uh, gives uh, uh, something non-trivial in the homology class, but uh, it turns out that this is enough to, to say that this gives a non-trivial uh, test uh, that this class is non-trivial. So the, the point is that the uh, set where the, the metric degenerates is a small uh, subset of measure zero, and this is uh, enough to, to say that uh, the corresponding class uh, is uh, non-zero. Okay, and so, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I, can, I can give you later. So this is something like invariant uh, gauge theory, uh, whatever. Uh, all right, so uh, therefore uh, the hol holonomy is abelian and also non-trivial. Uh, and uh, in particular, this shows that, uh, you know, if you go to the double branch cover, then uh, the two harmonic uh, one form becomes an honest harmonic uh, form in a suitable sense. So it makes sense uh, on the double branch cover. Uh, and then the second statement, so uh, this was the first statement, and the second one is, uh, so uh, we know that the holonomy of A omega uh, along the meridian uh, is uh, in Z2, uh, but this Z2 is contained in, in S1, so this is conjugate to uh, the matrix given by 0, minus 1, 1, 0 uh, in PSL to R. So I think here of PSL to R is a quotient of SL to R by the center. Uh, and this means that the holonomy of A omega is generated by uh, matrices of the form exponent of T xi2 and this particular matrix. Uh, 0, minus 1, 1, 0, and then it's easy to check that if you take the commutator, then uh, this, uh, the commutator is abelian. So uh, uh, this is uh, metabelian. Okay, uh, so the uh, a particular corollary of that is that uh, B1 of M2 is at least 1. And this is uh, known to imply that the uh, Alexander polynomial of uh, the branch uh, locus at the point minus 1 is 0. Uh, but for nodes, Uh, i.e. for connected uh, links, uh, the Alexander polynomial at the point minus one is an odd uh, integer. So uh, in particular, it's now a zero uh, for nodes. So nodes are excluded a priori. Okay, uh, that's all I wanted to tell you today. Uh, 
that's true, but uh, uh, all these loops are uh, visible in the double branch color, and on, uh, we know everything on the double branch color. Right, the only thing which, uh, which is missing if you go downstairs is uh, the holonomy around the loops uh, along uh, meridians, so, uh, and that's that we know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which equations? The one we saw, it was labeled last year, so it's wrong. But, you know, in particular, they are flat connections, and on R3, uh, you know, there is just one. Uh, you mean something like asymptotic uh, at infinity? Um, no, uh, I don't know. I don't think so. No. That's true. Uh, well, the, the stability condition does depend on the metric, but the modular space itself, uh, at least if you consider the irreducible uh, part, doesn't depend. So, uh, and you know, whether it's compact or not doesn't depend on the metric. Uh, you can express it solely in terms of the fundamental group or representations of the fundamental group. And if it's compact, then it's compact. If it's not compact, then it's not compact. The, the, the only thing is that the limit will depend on the metric. Right, but if it's non-compact, this limit must exist, a non-trivial limit must exist for any metric. Uh, what is Rn? But I think I, I don't see on the blackboard. But I think uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's uh, that's the space of connections module conjugation, but in PSL to C. So by the normalizer of the uh, SL to R. R. Uh, Well, you, you should uh, you should impose there. Uh, what, what what I mean is that uh, if the space of irreducible uh, connections is non-compact. Right. Means you say I am not the space of representations. Yes, I said this. So so what I mean here is that the space of irreducible representations is non-compact. Right, right, so for any irreducible, you have a stable uh, solution, right? And then uh, this doesn't depend on the metric. I mean, the, the, the presentation itself does depend on the metric, but not the existence. <laughs> 